ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to GIS World channel. As you remember, in the previous tutorials, we talked about how to install the PostgreSQL PostGIS into your machine and how to connect the QGIS with the PostgreSQL and PostGIS and how to import and export a shapefile to the PostGIS and PostgreSQL. So, let's start with some SQL coding inside the uh, inside the PostgreSQL. As you know, the, the communication uh, with the database work with the SQL, which is the structure query language. And we have different type of the SQL, DDL data definition language, DML data manipulation language, and DQL data query language. And this in this tutorial, we will talk about the DDL data definition language. In this uh, type of the SQL DDL, we can create the database, we can create the table, we can alter table, for example, add the column, rename the table or rename the column or drop the column. And so let's uh, start with some, some practical uh, example. So first of all, we would, uh, in the previous video, I already show you how to create it somehow, the manually right here, create a database and you can create it, this test project I, I, I already created manually in the uh, for, uh, in the second or the third video and right now this is the time to use the sql so first of all create a database uh, base uh, so let's name it smart city for example and just here and if i just run the code so uh, you see here query returned successfully in this in very short time and if i just come here and refresh you see my smart city database here and i do not i have just a, uh, in the schema public by default and the table is nothing inside uh, right now we would like you know to add in the smart city a table and for example the table is the owner and we will come first of all here again here create a script here and you see we do not need this and so let's start for example i already have one one script and i would like to copy from here to save the time but i will explain to you for example here is a created table it will be the table here will be added must add here and the name is the owner and for example uh, gid is the somehow the, this uh, uh, primary key this id the name of this column and it's a serial uh, primary key and this is the title for example is the uh, master or missus and varchar is that uh, it's somehow the, in the text uh, format and the first name and again varchar and last name varchar and so let's uh, run our code and to see what is happening. So it, it was successfully. And if I go to the table here and just refresh, I must have one table with the owner. And if you see the column, just uh, let's see here. I think it's better to see if everything is okay. Yes, GID, this primary key, integer and uh, title and first name and last name. We would like to continue and adding another column here in the owner uh, uh, table and so what, what we can do right now. Again coming here, create a script here and you know we do not need this one and just for example using the alter table as you see this is the, this function and you know this is the owner, it's the name of the table here add column it will be added another uh, extra column here so for example here we have four it will be five and the name will be city and you know this is the format it will be the text and I, by running this code and so this is correct and let's see do we have this result or not so and if i just come here you see the city has been added here right now we would like to change or rename the column uh, name for example uh, we already name it as a city and it's wrong or we would like to consider as a region so what should we do so let's just we do not need this one and again using this alter table and just if i just put it here you know you see here alter table owner okay rename column okay this city to region okay so and let's see if it's working or not so if i just and refresh so for example you see their uh, city will be replaced or renamed 
We will continue with another uh, function, which is the uh, alter table drop column. So, so we would like, for example, to uh, remove last name column from this uh, owner uh, table. So what should we do? We will uh, drop column. So let me just take this code and just put it here. Alter table owner as you see the table owner is here here and drop column so for example we would like to drop the column for example instead of the city so let's start with the for example title to see how it's working and just run so it was successfully done and if i just refresh here you see we do not have any uh, title uh, column here and at the end, I would like, you know, to drop or delete the uh, complete table, this owner, owner table. So we will just, uh, you know, drop table uh, here and just, uh, if I add it here, drop table owner. You see here drop, it is uh, somehow deleting the, the owner, which is the table here. And if I just run this code, so if I just uh, update refresh here, you don't see any tables. So I hope you enjoy from this video and it was really basic, but it's very helpful to start uh, with the SQL coding in the PostgreSQL. SQL. And in the next uh, video, we will go to the uh, other uh, uh, data manipulation language, DML and DQL data query language and we will continue with some uh, professional SQL coding in PostgreSQL. So see you soon and bye.